Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. <laughs> Partner, I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis B. Bevels. The V stands for paper towels this morning on the bus. I saw an old man eating a paper towel as if it was cotton candy. No. <laughs> No. It was all crumpled. He pulled it out of his pocket and just kind of shoved it in his mouth. One Remember that movie, my, or the TV series, My Strange Obsession, and the woman ate the couch cushions? I hope she's okay. Well, first he looked at me like, because I got on to go to work, speed, and he looked at me and he was like, and he like gave me a stink eye and then he like turned around and I was like, oh, should I feel threatened? And then he took out his handful of crumpled paper towel and he ripped a piece off with his mouth, put the rest back in his pocket and then like started shoving it in his mouth like cotton candy. And I wasn't threatened anymore. I was frankly turned on. I was about to say, it sounds like he's flirting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who knows? We are back this week with yet yes. another Drag Race episode. But before we get into that, we just we want to say. talk about it. Oh, um, fuck, we fucked up. We should have said, hello, welcome to Queer Tea Award winning web series, IMHO. Ooh, we won! We won a Queer Tea! We can't thank you mm. all enough. Mm. How does it mm. feel mm. to be a Queer Tea mm. Award winner? Mm. To be recognized mm. for your hard work, Darby, because oh. you work the hardest out of everyone in this room. Listen, I love. On this thing. I love awards. Okay, I love receiving them. Recognition. I don't think I've received an award since Most Talented in high school. <gasps> Wait a minute. I Talented in high school. Good. Or best actor. I got most I musically inclined. I <laughs> <laughs> we lied! We are so <laughs> alive. <laughs> no, but the queer were this week, and we just did a full breakdown. We did a on full Patreon. breakdown on Patreon. So if you want, we're like, not gonna thirty minutes of us talking about celebrities. It was an hour. We had the best time. We had the best we time. We hobnobbed with some of Joshua the queer. Ponte Joshua Ponte created our dresses, came up with the idea, created them, flew made out here, night. made them, came up with our acceptance speech idea. Like he touched just... my boobs. He also told me the proper way to wear a corset, which he... I had never been doing Same. before. He also told me like a, a tip about my corset and that my corset was cheap and made me look gross. Joshua, we owe you. <laughs> I don't think Queer Tees would have happened without him. I'm not saying it wouldn't have. Would it have been the magic that it ultimately was? No. Would it have been so much fun and magical and wonderful and horny? No. We would have been a stress ball of anxiety oh. without him. Oh, we still were. We still were, but less so. But any sort of like angry yeah. outbursts, he took those on. And we also want to thank Curtis because Curtis was a wonderful little assistant. Yeah, I do want to husband. thank Curtis for not wearing a shirt all night because his Oh, that was wonderful. Really right. Yeah, lovely. Very into very into that. Curtis. That was nice. Curtis has a... Um, mm, ooh, okay, so you know how since we... You know how since we moved to... I got to cool off. <laughs> You know how since we moved to LA, I've decided to um, let it go. Let myself go. Yes, yeah. I've decided to gain a little belly just so I can like try Ma something different. Match mine. And he has decided to gain more muscle. Yeah. We went two different routes. He looks good. But he looks so good. So thank you, yeah. Curtis, for continuing to look very hot. And for just being there and, and helping us out. He helped us a lot. He supported us that night, both of us, as if I was also his wife. Yeah, what was that about? And also, most importantly, to all of you who voted, yes. specifically the lesbian community, thank you for yeah. organizing. Listen, gay the guys, lesbian we can't community do it. has been supporting queer culture. Gay guys, we are forever, not we, we are too Why do you think it starts with L? Okay? You Why do you think get it starts a group with of L? gay guys to put It used together to be the L anyway. later on in the alphabet. It's got to be a lesbian. Of course, back then it was LGBT lesbians or, or trans BLT, people. BLT, if you need if you need to win an election, if you need to get something changed, for once. Call a lesbian. Let's recognize who person, should be first? Call a, le a trans lesbian. First. They will get it done. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. It was really magical. And yeah, I can't. It was all because of you yeah. and Joshua. It truly, it's all because of you and Joshua. It was kind of an out of body experience. The entire thing felt like a fever dream. And to leave I, that fever dream with the trophy. Yeah. Great. And thank you for not touching the trophy all night. I really didn't listen. <laughs> Okay, not because of me, okay, because I because did I, offer, but she was like, I will drop it. And I was like, understood. I will drop it. There was stuff on my hands. I didn't know where that came from. Yeah. What? So, but if you want to hear the rundown, all that shit's on Patreon. Yeah, yeah. So thank you um, everyone again so but, much. Uh, we are award winners. Let's give a quick highlight. Give a highlight. I met the villain from Little Rascals. 
Oh, that's a really good Little one. Little Gay Rich Kid. I met the woman from Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce. I loved that show. Lisa Adelstein, Paul Adelstein's wife. We met so many known gay liberties and we picked the two that were like Well, you know what's funny specific, is I kept looking niche. I kept looking over at her all night. Little did I know, she was there to introduce Rufus Wainwright, who was sitting right beside her. So I'm sure this man is like, why is this bitch looking over at me and not Wait, like recognize it? I was instead looking of looking over, at Rufus Wainwright, I was looking, looking at, at Lisa Adelstein. Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce? Hella fucking yeah. And I'd do it again. Strange. I like her. So strange. She introduced him. Couldn't hear a word she said because <gasps> I was just in a euphoria. Okay, last one. <gasps> so exciting. We got to meet. Yeah. We got to meet Big Dipper. And I have to say, he's yeah. a lot smaller in person. And thank you, Dipper, for getting dressed up that night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you everyone again. And uh, one last thing before we get into the episode. We do have some very, very, very exciting news. This is not, I don't know. I'm into choreography now, I don't know. No, I'm a fan. <laughs> we, we, we will be, will be <laughs> <laughs> award winning web series. Now, the two of us, we've gone here, we've gone there. Mm -hmm. We went to New York Drag Con. We went to, um... Uh-huh. Chicago. Oh, I just mentioned meeting the villain from Little Rascals. He was also the gay kid from Full, Full House. House. So I want to say we will be going on tour to Full House. To Full House. We're going to, to San Francisco. Francisco. We are going to be spending an action-packed weekend at we Bo at, in the Castro. Yes, we are going to be doing an IMHO takeover. The whole weekend. All weekend. We will be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then We're even Monday, they're allowing us to film our IMHO episode. With a very special in guest. In the bar. Well... We'll see. I, I'm not sure that they're out of the hospital yet, but I'll let, I'll let you know if I hear. Okay. So we will be there all weekend. Are Hang on. Are I they got... really in the hospital? No. If you can't do that. You're such a good actress. Thank you. Well, I'm married <laughs> to an actor, so. So it rubs off at night. Something does. Friday, March 31st, we will be doing the Drag Race viewing party, and then we will be doing a performance after, hosted by Heroin and Melanie Sparks. Cannot wait to work with those beauties. I really hope if they if they are really beautiful in person, I have, I'm, we're gonna have a problem. Yeah. The pictures, threatening enough. Paint down then. Paint down, paint down. <laughs> <laughs> and then Saturday will be April Fool's Day. So of course we're the ultimate fools. We fall for everything. Oh my God, it is April Fool's yeah, Day. Yeah, she's just learning what that is. So we will be at the drag brunch with Malay, Balenciaga, and BB Sweetbriar. So again. Oh, I love that name, BB Sweetbriar. I know, right? That's a good name. Well, it sounds like she has to constantly carry around sweets or like the makings of sweets. You have to make your own. BB. So we she just want to, like a... again, warn you ladies that if you don't want us to fall apart at your brunch, Paint down. Yeah. Okay, paint down. Will there be tater tots at that brunch? It's a gay brunch. There better be. We we're going to be in we'll the heart of the we'll Castro. Oh, yeah, we're going to be there all weekend. So I just want to say, like, to, to San Francisco, if, like, a hurricane coming, if you can leave ahead of time, or you probably Planet of the Apes, if Planet of the Apes happens while we're there, because that it, it happened in San Francisco. Did it? In the James Franco version, yeah. What other things come from San Francisco besides um, Kimmy Rice Aroni. Thank you. And then Sunday night, it's their big top Sundays. George of the Jungle. What? Doesn't he go to San Francisco with that girl? George of the Jungle? He lives in the jungle. And then he goes to San Francisco with Leslie. Did you just say that girl when you're talking about <laughs> Leslie. Leslie Mann? Man. The comedic genius slash model. <laughs> hosted by legendary Adriana Roy. Ooh! Or Adriana. Sorry, we have an Adriana uh, that we... Uh, hi, Adriana. So I always... Anyway, Adriana Roy. With local queens, Bianca Simone and Cinnamon. So Ooh, the I'm moan. so excited to moan with you girls. Again, what's the theme for the weekend? Moaning. Paint. Paint down. down. Paint down. So we are so excited to play with all of you San Franciscans. And if you live nearby, like if you live in what's nearby San Francisco, Alaska, come see us. We are so excited to hang out with you. And I want oh, to, so I want to have a fabulous time in San Francisco. Don't we all? I want to go to that beach with like wind tunnels. So it makes like an accordion off the water or whatever, the wind off the water. I want to go to that. I want to ride a trolley. Okay. I want to do Princess Diaries. Oh, the other sister I think is 
from San Francisco. I don't think that movie is okay anymore. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But they will have all this information up on their website soon. I think the graphics are still being made. Like, we're telling you so ahead of time yeah. that they're still making the graphics. But you can follow them on Instagram for all of the updates and such. And then you can make reservations for the drag brunch on their website. So make sure you get those reservations in quickly because as soon as people hear that the IMHO ladies are going to be eating brunch, in front of you. Isn't that what we do at brunch shows? We just eat. Yeah, right? you just eat. Yeah, as soon as they hear that, it's gonna sell out. If you're going to San Francisco, mm -hmm. be sure to hair come flowers in your hair. Come She's actually flowers gonna be performing like that at brunch. Come, like over in, in the shape of a flower instead of a pearl necklace. It's just a glob. <laughs> Mm. So, so anyways, if you're really going, <laughs> so yes, we hope. and I think this is probably the most <laughs> exciting news of our San Francisco weekend is that intern Paula will be here with us from Costa Rica. Intern she is Paola. flying to LA and then flying up with us to San Francisco. Yes, I'm so she'll be there all finally going to meet her. I'm so excited <laughs> after all this time. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, we have to talk about this. Oh yeah, so now we're back race. to Drag Race. Drag Race. Woo! It's the <laughs> <laughs> Drag Race today is she about She doesn't usually work on Fridays, but she had to. I had to work today because I took two days off. So she's crazy, very so tired. I'm very loopy. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you. Oh no. They're repaving the road. Where? In front of my place of business where I work. Oh sure. What that means is they strip the road. That was fine. Whatever. Paving the road means dumping all the like Lydia Tar gravel on the ground on the ground, and then they take this big machine that looks like a tank, and then they drive it over the gravel, and then they pound it in so it gets all compact. Why are you talking about how to make? Because the guess what that means for the store that I work with all these beauty products, delicate glass beauty oh, products no. on shelves, is for the first four hours of work we were just running around trying to keep things from falling off the shelf. It was literally shaking the shelves and the ground all day. That's fun. I felt like in Not Mary fun. Poppins, remember how every hour mm -hmm. they would do the cannon or whatever yeah, and everything would, and they would have it all. In the pool. It yeah. was insane. Lots of products broke. Yeah, but it's There's fine. so okay. many products. There's in so your many store. products there, but it was really crazy. It was kind of that fun. fun. It was kind of fun, but yeah. also that part of the street was closed, so no one could get in. Oh no! So we did have nothing to do but like straighten up. Well, it sounds like you had a lot to do. Yeah, you had to catch and release. The only time I've ever been in your work, I saw the mom from Wizards of Waz Waverly Place. Oh yeah, I'm proud oh. of her. Oh. Happy for her. So this week, the girls have to. Do an be interview. Themselves. They have to be like on a 2020 style. They okay, have to before do live. we get into that though, they come back <sighs> from the lip sync. No, they come back from the lip sync and Lucy starts on her shit again and Mr. Just no, like, Lucy Mr. doesn't. I'm gonna say this. What? Lucy doesn't start on her well, shit. She does. No, she's like, I'm happy. And they're all laughing at her, gaslighting her, being like, no, you're not happy. You're all never happy or whatever. It was fun to watch. Mistress was like, I can't help but laugh. Like, I'm sorry to just oh, laugh at mistress, her. Oh, mistress? And then mistress? she, mistress was like, mistress is doing this the whole time except for the food portion. Well, of yeah, her she challenge. forgot to do things in the food part. But I just liked how she got Lucy worked up and she was just like, listen, you're a bitch. Just say you're a bitch. Just be own it. You're in your there, bitch and, era. And you know what? There is some truth to that. There is some truth to that. There is some wisdom in that. If you are a bitch, you're a lover. Just be you're nice. A child. Nice is different than good. You're a mother. You know what I mean? What is that? What song is that? That's from um, You're so nice. Little Woods or whatever. You're so good. You're so good. You're so nice. nice. And I'm good. That's right. I was on the world. <laughs> Beans. We go to the main challenge. The main challenge is all about doing fitty fitty, okay? 50 so they have to do 2020. They have to interview celebrities. My parents loved watching 2020. Me that too. Hugh Downs, Barbara Walters, may they rest. What a dream team. I loved 2020. That was I didn't we, get we would to watch, watch it every Friday night. What do you my, mean? Why? My parents would watch, but why I wasn't. Why wouldn't you watch? I don't watch news. It wasn't, I mean, it was barely a news program. It's like Dayline. Well, I was too, like, I don't want to watch this. You know what I mean? Mm, I'm very familiar. But I did enjoy watching the girls. This was way better than like a silly skit because this was like skills you might actually need to use in yes. the future. Listen, I don't love an acting challenge. I think a lot of people feel that way. Acting challenges are kind of little. But the, the interview challenge, seeing how you interact with someone on camera in a situation that you might find yourself in one day. Yeah. Fun. I always think about Chanel when they got to interview 
Tori Spelling. When you decided to have a baby, did you decide to have a baby or was it a surprise? And if so, how did that make you feel at the time? And did you have names already picked out like when you were a little kid? Or did you have new names that you wanted to make with yours? Did you go to Blown Away till you meet your baby? A lot of people do that, you know, when I had my baby. And how did his family take it? Yeah, Are you so close she, with yeah, his she family? Kept, so she kept doing that, which is so funny. And we kind of saw a little bit of that. Well, we saw the opposite of that with Selena's titties. She wasn't. Oh, you think? Yeah, because the whole her whole thing was she was waiting for a moment to pop in. Okay, well let's, I'm so love. sorry. Let's get into the team. So Love Connie was the first celebrity that they got to interview, right? Or did they start with Charlie? Yeah, they started with Love Connie. They started with Love Connie and, and it was Selena's titties. She was doing Diane Sawyer, sit down, sit down. And now listen, Love Connie's hilarious. Yeah. Loved that we found out that she is the bend and snap gay from Legally Blonde. Legally Blonde. Who would have What known? a dream. I was so excited for her and when we heard who the celebrities were going to be, I was like, oh, I would want Love Connie because she so funny. However, I was wrong. She is so unpredictable. And so Selena was just really struggling with it, it kind of breaking in like, there. Yeah. And bless her heart, I will say, loved the way she looked. I thought Selena looked. Oh, she looked beautiful. So I thought gorgeous. Selena actually handled it and well. I loved her outfit. I, I thought Selena actually handled it well. Cause like she explained later, she wanted to ask her real questions, but Love Connie was kind of going on and on and on. So she was trying to get in any way she could because Love Connie, it seemed, could have talked the whole time. It sounds you know like a Darby I mean? and Alexis. Well, that's, kind of I, I, well, that's what I told Joshua on the whole reason we talk at the same time sometimes is because if I wait for a silence from her, I'm never going to speak. Yeah, you'll die. So I have to get in there when I can. I agree with you that I think Selena handled it better than other people did. Mistress so didn't. So Selena getting the bottom was crazy to me. However, the part that the judges said that kind of clicked with me, because I was really uncomfortable the whole time we watched Selena and I was like, Ugh, I didn't like that at all, but I couldn't put my finger on it. And T.S. Madison, Make her a permanent judge, number one. Yeah. She looked amazing. She that looks color amazing. hair on her is All the judges looked really good today. Yes. Oh, Michelle. That Michelle blue. Looks so Michelle cute. in the blue and TS with the reddish Very orange hair. Very rarely has Michelle worn something Gorge. and I wish I you was went, wearing <gasps> it too. I want to wear that. When they showed her, she went <gasps> like that. Do it. No, you'll choke. Your mouth is full of spit all the time. I think it's because like it's trying to fill where the teeth used to be. That I'm hungry for <laughs> <laughs> No, no. T.S. Madison said, you can't show it on your face. You can't show how you feel. If you're feeling yeah. uncomfortable or you feel lost, you can't show it on your face because it betrays you to the audience and then the audience feels that. And that immediately, I was like, that's what I was feeling. It was her facial reactions. She was really giving away that she had lost this interview. Yeah. That was uncomfortable. But I don't think she did worse than Mistress Isabel Brooks, who really just did, kind of didn't know what to, it was the equivalent of like, when you're taking a test and you can't really focus on what's going on, so you just put C for all of them. It's a Scantron test. Yeah, she's Do kids scantroned. do Scantrons now? And still? Why not? One time I did one, I just made a smiley face. Why did you even attempt to go to college? Yeah, Mistress was a bummer. And I got it because... I do feel that was, like that Love was, Connie was going. She was, I do feel like she was amping it up for her. Because I yeah. felt Lux did really good and they were able to be. Lux got, Lux had a, she had, I'm so sorry. I was doing my Love Connie. She had a, a, a really fortunate setup in that she was just riding in a go-kart. So as Connie's driving around like crazy, all Lux has to do is react. You know, I do all my interviews in go-karts. So I thought Lux So great. I actually, I, I need to have my lawyer's contact. Have you ever driven a go-kart? Well, yes, I absolutely have. My... No. Are you ready? Oh no, what? My father owned a go-kart for many years. That's a pilot, that's pilot shit, right? I think he still has one. When I get off the plane, when I've had a long day of getting off plane, I get on cart and I go. I just want to say overall, this entire team looked amazing. Yeah, everyone looked I loved so good. Everything everyone was wearing. But ultimately, for me, part of me, I felt like Mistress really shit the bed on this one. I thought Mistress I thought did. She shit the I cupcake. thought, I'm sorry. yeah. She shit the cupcake yeah, on yeah. this one. Let's move on to the next group, which was Sasha Cole and Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And they got Charo. to do Charo. Now Sasha did the food, she made a salad with Charo. This was just so fun to watch. I said, okay, I said this to her. Okay, I says, this is what I says. I says, Alexis, I says, I kind of expected Sasha to not be good at this because she's been good at everything else. Yeah, okay, and so I was like, okay, this so is she's what gonna we be bad at this one, right? Cause you know, when you hear about these girls that we've heard of. Legendary. Going on this show. When you hear of a legend. You think, oh, they're gonna be great. And you know, they're gonna be successful no matter what. But eventually everything. everyone has a stumble. Everyone has everyone a has a weakness. And I was like, oh, well, this has got to be an interviewing. Maybe That's this will be Maybe it. Yeah. this won't be. 
No. No, she was perfect. She was natural. Like they said, she included the audience. She tried to stay on track. She lost the plot. We had fun watching. She it, let it the audience gorgeous. in on, we're just going to have fun The now. fun at that Kitchen was, Party. That was so good. A I love Charo. Party. Listen, I oh, love Oh, I love Charo. Charo. And I, I love, she's, yeah. I'm, her career is so funny to me because you can't point to one thing Charo's done. You can't say like, oh yeah, she was in this famous movie. No, she was just a personality. She was in everything. She was just always kind of popping up. Coochie coochie, and then she'd hop on off. I adore her. And then she had a son. She <laughs> that I saw drink a milkshake by himself in front of a diner. Yeah. So Curtis was making our pizza while we were watching the episode. And when he came in the room, he goes, oh, we saw her son drink a milkshake. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. When we, when we were looking for, it's fine, don't worry. I've already told the story. And then they moved on to a one-on-one -on -one with, with Marsha. Marsha, 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 and Charo. Now, I think what they all thought was going to happen, it happened, which was Marsha couldn't understand Charo. And at one point, Charo said something about her being on top of the tree and having to call the police. And Marcia was Marcia's like, response goes, sounds good. <laughs> I was like, oh, pro cop. Canceled. Would it have been okay if I was in her position to be like, I didn't understand a single word, but I gotta say, I love you, or like something yeah. like that? Yeah. Maybe not. To Marsha's credit, she tried her best to smile and kind of giggle through it. In some of the sentences she was responding to, it made sense. In others, it didn't. I yeah. don't know, in that situation, I don't know what to do. Because you want to be respectful of the guest. You don't want to make Charo uncomfortable. I think it could be okay to be like, I can't stop looking at you. You look incredible. I'm sorry, I can't hear a word you're saying right now because I yeah. can't stop staring at you. Or like... Something like that. Or, or, hey, or, hey, I saw your son drink a milkshake by himself in West Hollywood. Yeah. Or I would, I would make my questions really silly and be like, Charo, you've angered a wizard. You have a choice of two punishments. One, you can never do coochie coochie again. Or two, no milkshakes for your son ever again. You know her son loves a milkshake. <laughs> I know. Oh, fuck. And she Mother's has love. to choose. Mother's love. Sophie's choice. Charo's choice. Charo's choice. You know, she they better should choose. remake that movie. <laughs> With Charo and her son and a bunch yeah. of milkshakes. I'd watch it. Group three was Malaysia Baby Doll. Baby doll. Baby doll pause. Mm -hmm. Um the other ones. Now, okay. Frankie Grande, for our- Was there, was that the queer tees? For our patrons, we posted video of our acceptance speech on Patreon, and you can see on the stage, from the angle where Curtis is filming, you could see Bianca, obviously, because she's on stage with us, and then off to the side is Selena, Estides, and Frankie. And as we're talking, you know, like, I, I will say that room, you can't understand a goddamn word anyone yeah. says. So, yeah. which was another reason I think we leaned into that. Let's just talk the entire time over each other because no one can understand. Anyway, so they're all kind of doing their own thing as we start our speech. And we talk for about 10, 15 seconds. I don't know. I made that up. But we talk for a little bit. And you can see Frankie Grande hears just two people kind of rambling over each other. And you just see him go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. You have to be a patron. Oh. Do you have $5? A month? So sit down interview with Frankie Grande was who? Oh, it was Lucy Laduca. And Can you do that again? Oh, it was Lucy Laduca. No, not. <laughs> 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 not surprised. I mean, can we do it? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. So the no, sit down no, no, interview. No, no, no. Sit, no it's too it. late. The sit down interview was huh. Frankie Grande and Lucy LaDuca. Oh, it was Lucy <laughs> LaDuca. Anyway, and she killed it. She killed it. She this really was did. her. This was her. This was her element. I would watch her. She's team talent. I, I would She's watch team her. Talent. She's really good at that. She's um, fantastic. And she even made Frankie seem a little bit interesting. Oh, wait, don't say that. Don't put that in. Too late. <laughs> Don't put it it's, in. It's on film. I wish I had the ability to take it out. <clears throat> then we go to Anitra's walk around. Anitra walk around. Anitra. Charming. Great. Charming. I don't Great's know, a strong word. Great's I don't a strong know why word. they I were. I love Anitra. Well, I'm biased because I love her. I don't know. I love Anitra, but was it great? No. Was it safe? Absolutely. Then we cut to Then kitchen. we cut to, okay, Malaysia baby doll. Baby Doll Fox. She walked in in her season two look. I did say it looked like season two also because her Nothing. internet wasn't the greatest, so it did look like season two, like smudgy mirror camera. Um, and also her wig. She does the cooking segment with Frankie yeah. and Frankie just starts interviewing her. Yeah. And she just kind of stayed quiet. And honestly, oh, I can't believe I'm about to say this. My heart went out to Frankie. Cause like, that's so uncomfortable. <laughs> I think he went into like, 
save it mode because like she wasn't saying shit. I mean, yeah. it was the edit we saw. It was but the edit we saw. Bless her heart. That was bless tough. her heart. That was tough. You know what? Frankie Grande, sister Ariana Grande, Wicked with Jonathan Bailey. Guess who was in my dream last night? Jonathan Bailey. And he's welcome back at any he's time. He's Wicked? He's motherfucking Fierro. Is he a good singer? Yes. You haven't heard him sing the last five years? No. You love the last five years. I do. It'll come up on your TikTok now that I've talked about it. Let's go to the runway. It is Night of a Thousand Beyonces. Beyonce Knowles Carter. We're going to start with a RuPaul. She looked cute. She looked good. She yeah. looked gorgeous. She looks great. Not cute good. She looked gorgeous. So we do Night of a, a, a Thousand Beyonces. Oh, did you pay $3,000 for your Beyonce ticket yet? I'm still waiting on you to bend mummy. Huh? It's Lux Noir London. In this Bob Mackie recreation, recreation. that RuPaul, RuPaul actually wore. wore, and it was made for Linda Carter. Now, before we knew any of that, we said, oh, she looks beautiful. She looks gorgeous. She looks stunning. I she mean, Lux stunning. is always giving it on the runway. Refer and she's a reference queen. She makes fashion references. But this was and so beautiful. And it was a perfect recreation of a Bob yeah. Mackie. And Bob Mackie is known for his mastery of beating. So for her to yeah. be able to get that remade is so incredible. But then to hear the backstory that Rue actually wore it, yeah. which I don't think was a surprise to Lux, because again, Lux has studied. Studied. Lux studies. A plus. Lux is head girl at the University of Girls Drag Race. Girls with their whatever. heads. Next was Mistress Isabel Brooks. And <laughs> I gotta say, coming out as Destiny's Child so with good. the two puppets on either side. So good. It's, it is a hint of comedy that I wasn't really expecting with from Mistress. With a ton of glamour. Obsessed. I, the, I couldn't be more obsessed with Mistress. When she did remove the puppets later on, the look alone was stunning. Yeah, really beautiful. But then add a Kelly and a Michelle. And the fact that and, she and had was, them ready to go to lip sync. Uh, it was so good. It was so. I loved it. It was we glamour. Laughed. We laughed. Camp. We laughed. We cried. We had glam. a good time. It was glam. Selena is titties. Also a little funny with her Ruchia Pet Awards. Instead but of she Grammys, looked she used... so beautiful. This entire episode. For last week's episode, for us to be so like mm, about her looks, this episode blew me away. I thought Stunning. She looked... Stunning. She looked absolutely stunning. Stunning. The fit of the dress was everything. Gorgeous. Curves. The Grammys. Absolutely gorgeous. The groomies. You want to give out groomies? Is that what you want to do? Groomer? No, like RuPaul does words with everything. Oh, God, I'm so sick of it. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. <laughs> Drag queens are not grooming your children and nobody fucking cares about the children. Otherwise you would have done something about the guns. Yeah, I hate your kids. The hint of comedy, like, very similar to Mistress. The hint of comedy with, with the, glamour. the gorge glam. She looked so good. And it, uh, yeah, Sasha Colby, stunning. She always looks good. That was she a was, carbon copy. She was working the runway like Beyonce. Okay, she was we, moving like Beyonce. Would you say that she was being a little Sasha Fierce about it? Can we talk about Let's that? Let's talk about that. Let's, Let's start getting ready. Class. Sasha Colby, listen, huh? believe Let's women. Sasha Colby said during she the Sasha say, Fierce. She posited during the that Sasha perhaps, Fierce. Before the moments. Sasha Fierce happened, she was friends she with was Beyonce's tour dancers. dancers. And then Sasha Fierce happened. So did Beyonce see Sasha Colby? If we're Colby? doing timelines, if we're doing mm -hmm. timelines, did she see Sasha Colby and say, oh, that's fierce? I am now feeling empowered to go out there and be my Because you know Beyonce is very shy or um, stage fright. And she used Sasha Fierce to become Beyonce. You know, but Sasha Fierce. I'm a way bigger Beyonce fan than you. Why would you try and explain that? Are you kidding? Thank you for saying you're bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I but never hear for that. For those of you, for those of you young children who may have been at the beginning of the season going, what is the big deal with Sasha Colby? Perhaps you're even still saying it to this day because you had a head injury. I don't know. But the fact that Sasha tells that story and we believe it, she is that legendary that it is quite possible that Beyonce saw her and got inspiration. I'm not kidding. That's how big yeah. Sasha Colby actually is in this world. So I just want to put that out there. We were standing right next to her at the Queer Tees. We were too afraid to say hi because she looked amazing. Yeah. Goddamn. That's all I got to say. Okay, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha in a red carpet look. Fine. I mean, she's beautiful. I was so bored. Listen, it's Beyonce. 
you pick a green dress with a mink stole. I don't know. I just was like, what are we doing here? Listen, I think Marsha is stunningly gorgeous and so goddamn talented. I don't dislike Marsha as a drag queen, as a person, anything. As a contestant on the show, at this point in the series, I'm and bored. At this point I'm in bored. Her journey. And Beyonce was a moment for her to come out, much like Malaysia did, to finally come out and show us something big. And she showed us a green gown. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just yawned. That's okay. It was Marsha's dress. Tired. Anitra. Cool. So fucking. I cool. loved it. I loved it. And it's her energy. It was yeah. perfect. Malaysia baby doll. Baby, Baby doll, doll Fox, you have to go faster. I'm sorry. Well, she's already she's gone now. It's spoiler. Oh, I loved this though. I thought this, this was what finally. I finally. I because we've just seen a lot of gowns and that's beautiful and a lot of white. But when you see her same like thing body over suit and from over last again, week, this was like the same taste kind of, color of something stuff. different. And this she was so stunning. cool. Loved. Love her. Love her body. Loved it. Lucy Laduca. She did the love on top. The famous the tuxedo. Pregnant. pregnant. She didn't have a little. Explain belly. that to me. Okay, because Beyonce. Explain that to me. You it was announced. Beyonce didn't really. Really have a belly. She did though. A teeny one. Well then put in a teeny one. Yeah. She instead showed up in a corseted waist. So anyway, so Lucy makes it down to the end of the runway. She opens her blazer and then touches her flat stomach. And I was like, ma'am, you miscarried. <laughs> Sorry. But I like that she went for that. That's a fun, that's <laughs> yeah. a, that's a fun idea. It's a fun yeah, idea. Yeah, no, it is a fun idea. Um, We did get a winner. It's Sasha Colby. Congratulations. You Congrats. can tell Lucy was pissed. Lucy was pissed. And it, it, do I think that perhaps they did that on purpose? That producers perhaps did that on purpose for a storyline? To keep so in this seed of like Lucy, Lucy, Susan Lucy. They are trying to make Lucy lose it. And I mm, like it as an audience member, but I'm very sorry for Lucy. That was really good. Thank you. That was really good. I really pre- Listen, wordplay, I don't often do it, but piss play, I'm always ready. Now, we're down to the lip sync, and okay, wait, wait, wait. The bottom three, Malaysia Baby Doll, <sighs> Baby Doll Fox, and Selena Stiddies, and Mistress Isabel Brooks. Now, I'm thinking this whole time, this is so we can put Mistress in the bottom, show off her lip syncing skills, maybe send someone home. Mistress is safe, which I'm happy for a mistress, but it didn't really align with what I was seeing that Selena was down there. Her runway was incredible. She definitely outperformed Mistress in the challenge. You say things. I completely agree. Selena had no business being in the bottom. If anything, I mean, Malaysia, perfect. I thought she deserved it. <laughs> But Mistress, I think Mistress tanked more than anyone else in the, the competition. I could understand them saving her because her look was so legendary. However, then put Marsha in the bottom. I didn't understand why we weren't talking about Marsha. I would have, I would have saved Selena over Marsha. Yeah, I would have, I would have, I would have too, Marcia actually. Marsha in the bottom. But Mistress's <sighs> performance in the challenge was so bad, I really thought we were getting a Mistress Malaysia. Well, or because I we're not sending Mistress Malaysia. home. We're no, not sending no. Mistress home. But you could put her in the bottom to send someone else and home. And she was ready. If she had to lip sync, she was motherfucking ready, okay? It should have been one of the M's. Should have been Marsha, Mistress, Malaysia. That was the bottom. Selena had no business being in the bottom, in my opinion. Ooh, Lady Gaga telephone, Beyonce, version of Beyonce. I like her. <gasps> oh, good choice. I like that one. Do you remember, okay, this was in olden days. Do you remember when that music video came out? It's like, hey, the music video is premiering on MTV at 9.30 p.m. on Friday. Like, if you want to see this music video, you got to tune in. You got to so get to a TV. I event. went to Roscoe's. I remember it premiered I Roscoe's. saw that too. I, you went to Roscoe's to see the premiere? Oh, no, I think actually it was across the street. Progress. <laughs> um, it was cocktail back then. <laughs> you were at cocktail. You are like, I gotta get to cocktail. I went to Roscoe's. I remember being at the bar and we were all just watching and we watched it on repeat. Roscoe's just kept playing it. That music video was a moment in time. Oh my God. Moment in time. <laughs> But if you could go good back. If you could go, I'd be the truck. What is the truck's license? Pussy lover or whatever? Pussy. pussy fin, finger me. <laughs> finger me pussy? <laughs> it's an <laughs> Irish truck. <laughs> if you could go back to any point in time in your life, when would you go? In my life? Yeah, and would you change something? I would change a lot. I would go back to me being 12 and I'd say, run away. <laughs> <laughs> I would go back and I'd say, hey, it's okay. Well, are you. This is, you're making the rules. I would just get in dance class earlier. <laughs> that was worth the wait. Thank you. I would get in dance that. class earlier. Well, I can't say what I would really do if it's on camera. Why? Well.
Oh yeah, no. <laughs> That's fucked up. They do the lip sync and it's pretty clear that Selena has learned the choreography. Selena knows the entire... Yeah, uh, so she's her. doing it. Malaysia's doing her kind of own thing. I like Malaysia a lot. I love that she's this pageant queen who's got all this experience and she's bringing her classic drag to the world. But I think we've seen it and she's just shown us week <laughs> after week like what she does. What? Yeah. You saying classic drag like that. Sounds like a read. <laughs> kind of was. <laughs> no, I love pageant drag. I think the way she does it is a little more classic. I can't wait to see what she does. So she loses, she goes home. I can't wait to see what she does after this. I do like Malaysia. I think there I is too. a space for her so in this sweet. family, this drag race family. A space? There's more than just a space, okay? There are open arms. We are ready to bring her in, love her. We are yeah. ready to praise her for everything she's done. And I cannot wait to see more. And thus ends another fantastic episode. The last of the 60 minute episodes. Next week is a return <sighs> to 90 minutes. Fuck. How do you feel about that? You, that's it. Like that. Yeah. Did you watch even a moment of Friends of WeHo? Mm-mm. Me neither. Oh, you know what? I'll, you you know watch what? a lot of bad TV, so I bet you'd love it. But I watched something that's good. That friend of the pod, Nirupam, just tweeted about this new horror series on Hulu that just dropped yes. called Wreck. And can I be honest? I haven't watched it yet. I'm put excited. it on last night. Finished all six episodes. I'm excited about it. I I'm excited loved about it. it. Two words. I'm excited about it. Cruise ship. Okay, thank you so much for watching. We will be back next week with another episode of Homosexual Opinions. If you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell. Join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash IMHO the show. Also, we are both on Cameo, so if you'd like a message to a loved one, a hated one, a family member who might be both, go ahead and hit us up there. We can also do a Shamio, which is at IMHOtheshow.com. It's like where you get a message with both of us in the background. It was so hot. It's like your own so mini sexy. episode. Also, we have merch at dragqueenmerch.com, so head over there and say hello. There is a discount if you are a patron. Go to Patreon and you can get that discount code. Also, before we leave, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of our loved ones, Heather, in the UK. I'm sorry for what you're going through, but I'm so happy that we are here to support you and we love you. All right, well, we will see you um, next week we'll with 90 you. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 90 minute episodes, which means our episodes are going to be 20 minutes. <laughs> if they get longer, we get shorter. And that's the way that the metric system works. Yeah, I, I love conversion therapy. Okay. So, Alexis comes over. I'm still finishing getting ready. I'm and pooping. She is straight <laughs> pooping. And I heard you. Uh, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the vent fan. The vent fan downstairs is very loud. Yeah. So I heard the vent fan. I was like, oh. Well, you know, I don't on. really want to scare you when I come in because I have a key and she's usually up upstairs to getting ready. And I don't want to scare her, but. It's fun to just let myself in and kind and of poop. go about my... <laughs> she does that a lot. She lets herself in and she poops. Because I'm not pooping at work yet. Well, she texted and she said, hi, I'm here and I'm pooping. And I was like, I didn't cool. want you to be scared. That made me more scared. <laughs> <laughs> Receiving that text is terrifying. No, so she's pooping. And then I hear a knock. And yeah. I thought you were doing a bit. I thought you were knocking on the door. Oh, okay, no. I thought you were doing a bit. And I was like, oh. And then I heard another knock. And I was like, oh, this bit's not funny, Alexis. So I go downstairs, open the door. It's our male person. Adore her. She's so nice. And she's like, I have a package for you, but there's postage due. And I was like, what? Because I've <laughs> never heard of, I mean, I've only seen that in like 1940s movies. I thought that was like a war, war thing. I don't know. The troops have to, you have to support the troops on the, so you have to pay for your own mail now, fuckers. World War II was a crazy time. Yeah. Anyway, she's like, you owe 325. And I was so confused. And I was like, I'm so sorry. What? Do you have the package? And she shows it to me and it's to Curtis and it just says 325 on it. And I'm so, I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how to do this. What do I, like, what do I do? And she was like, you can pay in cash or in stamps. And I was like, I just bought a bunch of stamps. Fuck if I'm going to give you a bunch of stamps right now. Let me go buy some cash. <laughs> so I give her the money. I'm so confused. Curtis comes home. He's confused. It's a woman's name on the package we've never heard of. And I was like, I don't know. Be careful opening it. Because, like, what a way to hurt someone is to mail them a package they have to pay for. And then it's filled with bomb or whatever. And bags. So he opens it. And inside are these, like, kind of... Tie-dye is not the right word. But it's like a pattern. Colorful. Colorful pattern. Cloth coasters? Yeah, squares. Squares of cloth. Um... <laughs> And squares of love. I mean, truly. I mean, they were sewed together, so it's like thick, but still, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. 
I was like, huh, that, weird. I was like, did you order these? And he's like, no, I don't even know who this person is. This is so strange, but it is from Minnesota, which is where my sister's husband's from. So I don't know, let me, there's no note, nothing. Just, just co square just fabric. Just four square, oh, did you open those squares? What if it's diamonds in there? Diamonds all up. No, cause I put a cup on it and they sat flat. They'd be tiny, tiny diamonds. I don't have time for that. Big diamonds or nothing. Okay. Curtis texts his sister and his sister's like, yeah, that's his mom. That name is her mother-in-law's name. And we were like, what? Your husband's mom sent us cloth coasters? Curtis's sister's husband's mom. Sent us cloth coasters and then made us pay for it? <laughs> <laughs> that is the, I mean, it's a pretty good business decision. Yeah, it's a really anyway, good, I, I mean, just, like, I don't know how she makes money off that. But. And it was so weird. And so then, so then his sister goes, yeah, she's been kind of loopy lately and been kind of off. So she's been sending everyone coasters. She's been sewing a lot and just sending everyone coasters. And then Curtis is like, okay. And she goes, yeah, she had like a really bad concussion and she just really hasn't been the same <laughs> since. So now she's just sending everyone coasters. And I was like, is so... this a cry for help? <laughs> it was the most bizarre. Curtis's sister's Husband's mom had a concussion, so she sent us coasters. They're beautiful coasters. They're I gotta beautiful be beautiful coasters, and they did soak Take, up we'll put all a picture the right moisture. Here. What a strange. That's so funny. Situation, but I'm glad. I'm glad that her concussion <laughs> caused her to make coasters instead of like Bob Saget's concussion causing him to stop living. T. <laughs> <laughs> you agree. Oh, so you agree. Yes. Okay. You think those coasters are right. <laughs> okay, we gotta uh, go. Well, she, wait, before she's we been go, up all before day. we go, now yeah. that we are Queer Tea Award winners, can I come clean to you about something? Oh, no. Do you remember the day, the morning of are the Are you wearing queer a corset? Tees? Yeah. Oh, your body looks amazing. Thank you. Joshua told me how to wear a corset. It, it really makes it do you? <laughs> you look really skinny. Do you remember the morning of the queer tees when you, when you took me to Target and bought me Spanx? Yes. And you smelled something. That was you! Yeah, but it wasn't a fart. It was a burp. <laughs> oh Alexis, your burp smelled like a fart? We had to leave the aisle because you burped? Insane thing I've ever heard. <laughs> right in front of the mic. You're not a red. You're gonna pass out. Are you kidding? I ate eggs right before. <laughs> we were in this aisle, okay? And she like. I should have known. You did. You were really quiet. We in this aisle, and she's just kind of like. I was so embarrassed. She's just kind of like moving her hand on stuff, and I was like, "Do you smell that?" I was like, "Oh my god, we walked into someone's fart." And she's like, "Oh my god, we did." And we walked out. You. We walked into your burp. <laughs> oh god! Oh, it smelled no. like you had diarrhea. You need to go to a dentist. I went to. I had eggs with like turkey and bacon. Let in me them. see. No, Let me see it your wasn't. mouth. Is there no. a butt inside? It was. No, I must find out. <laughs> but I, I thought about saying it during the speech, but then uh, I didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> you and Curtis are so disgusting. Oh yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's so fucked up.